Hey guys, it's Jessica, and I'm a little bit excited today. I'm excited because I got, um, not a new camera, but I'm finally figuring out how to use our amazing camera that we actually have instead of using um, my phone like I have for my prior videos. Um, so I'm excited about that feature, but I am also getting back into the gym today. I'm a little bit apprehensive about that. I haven't been in the gym for quite a while. Um, my littlest one is two and a half, so it's about time. Um, so today I'm going to take you with me as I go to my sister who is a um, workout personal trainer. It's uh, won some fitness competition. She does, has done spin classes, body pump, training people. So basically she looks just like me, but she's really thin, really thin and really ripped. So, um, thinny, is that a word? It's like skinny and thin, thinny. Um, so anyways, uh, I hope it goes okay. I'm trying to be excited and pumped about this. I've got my water, I've got my day makeup on, um, and got my slimming, hopefully as slimming as I can be, black workout outfit on. We'll see how this goes, wish me luck. So we're here with my sister Michelle, fitness guru, champion, fitness something we're doing personal trainer no personal trainer spin instructor body pump instructor wife mother extravaganza so tell me what are you going to be doing today today we are going to go through a circuit of weights a push a pull and legs so three exercises three rounds and then after we complete all that we move on to a whole new set of three exercises so we're going to keep doing that for probably 30 minutes. Am I going to make it? Um, yes. Okay guys, I just stopped the video right here because I'm going to give you some good tips and some good advice on how to outsmart your personal trainer because if you need a break, you need to take it. So I'll interject uh, occasionally as this video goes on. First way to survive and outsmart your personal trainer is you need to take a break when they walk away. So when they're not looking, take every opportunity that you can and take a little rest. Because the second that they come back and they're with you again, you have to put on the show of your life. You have to be an actress and show them that you are working really hard and really sweating. So when they leave, look around, make sure they're not watching, Take a deep breath and relax because you're Another way to outsmart your personal trainer is if you're really dying and they won't leave you alone, beg for water. They're not allowed, I think it's by law, they're not allowed to refuse water to you. So if you really need a break, ask them to go get your bottle of water. Hide it somewhere if you need to. Hide it across the gym. It'll give you more time and more seconds to take that break. Yeah. Don't have the other piece. You can water. Yes. Oh my god. How am I doing so far? She's doing pretty good. Oh, pretty good? Yes. Like on a scale of like one to ten. I want to ten out of your name. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'll take it. All right.
smart, your personal trainer, is fake phone call. Have your cell phone nearby. Don't let them see it. But if you really need to slow down, grab your phone and just be like, oh my God, I have an emergency. My daughter's texting me from school and something just happened. I'm gonna need to take this call. It's gonna give yourself a good five minutes to get a good rest. How, how did I do in the very end? She did really good. Um, she is better than most of us. Oh. Let's give her in. B plus. So am I still like an eight, eight and a half? Nine, nine, eight and a half? Yeah, she's definitely eight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I survived. I made it. Um, wasn't as bad as I thought. I actually, as much as I kidded around, actually participated and really got into it. So um, I'd say for those of you who are scared, it's not as bad to get back in there and get in the gym. And with Michelle, man, basically. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel. There's a couple buttons you can push. There's a small button. I believe it's down here. The little one in the corner. I could be doing this backwards. And then there's a big red one down here underneath the video. You can hit the other of them. Subscribe to my channel and you'll get more funny videos and more advice and tips on different things. Also, leave me a comment. I would love to hear how you got back to the gym. How did you get over your fears and what did you do your first time? And all kidding aside guys, if you're gonna hire a personal trainer, give it your all because you're spending your money to do it. But if you've got your sister as your personal trainer, take the breaks, do what you need. Bye guys.